Hey, what's up people? Orfish here. Welcome back to a first dive playthrough. And this time I was about uh, to explore the glacial basin further, but uh, as I found out, the glacial basin is already completely explored. There is another biome, the Arctic Spires, where actually the ice worms lurk. And also, there is a part of the mainland which I haven't yet explored and perhaps I should have done it by now. Now, let's see. Uh, there is this base zero which can be somehow accessed uh, from the water, I guess, from the shore. I've been to Glacial Basin and this here are the Arctic Spires which can be accessed why the bridge no i'm not sure if i should go there before i explore this base or perhaps even the omega base because um, arctic spires apparently includes some end game stuff so uh i can uh try and access this this icy um i mean this arctic key army these icebergs here and uh, try to get over there somehow maybe i should use a sea truck for that but also since i don't know if i'm going to venture inside the water i perhaps should bring all of my water equipment there so the spy pangling I think it is only used in glacial basins, so I won't carry it with me. And the rest of the stuff should remain here. And since I'm not going to the Arctic Spires now, I don't need the Thumper. Because it is used to distract the ice forms. So let's see that base zero. What's it all about? the brown suit to this thing before I go further. It is quite interesting how this world is smaller than the one in Subnautica, but it's more confusing in many ways. Outpost. 
zero. So, if I'm here somewhere now, I should probably just follow the coast. To there. And also some... Wow. Some of you people mentioned the... In the starting area, there are more resources which should be gathered, and I just moved away from it swiftly. So, let's go back to this escape pod and try to access the land from there. storm again no I probably entered the water somewhere here but I'm not sure I won't need the diving equipment here. I should have unloaded everything. Oh well. Penguins here. I think I've entered the, this game world through there. Let's see. If I have missed anything here. Okay, that's where I've crashed. there's anything to be had here or I was misguided one nutrient block I came all the way here for one nutrient block flare I haven't really checked this escape pod. Another flare. Oh, 
some more flares. You also mentioned that stalkers are afraid of flares, so that's a good thing to know. But I'm not sure I'll be ever face to face with stalker again. No, this is just water. This this is outdated stuff. Why do I need this many flares for? Okay. Even if I miss something, it's obviously pretty basic stuff, so I could drink some water, I guess. And now, let's see. So perhaps... I'm here somewhere, I guess. Now I need to go further to the east. use of this can flares be deconstructed maybe they can I'll keep these I find it quite strange that there are no more clues from the Allen The only clue I have is the Omega lab, which I should go to, to complete the Sam's storyline. All the, or the Altera storyline for that matter. And this Outpost Zero, I'm not sure. Who constructed it? The Mercury crew? Or the Altera crew? Okay, so this is all one big blob of ice which I can't climb. Poor Beeper. This one or this one? I need to go even further to the east. I hit the penguin. After it ate a fish. see the surface here. So 
approaching that area where I found Margaret's greenhouse. There is the whale. Always a beautiful sight. Mulan and nearby iceberg detected. A hollow chamber typically formed by glacial melt. Okay. that way. Come on, Alan, talk to me, give me some clues. Anybody. But at some point, even in Subnautica, the original game, the game stops speaking to you and then you have to make your way alone. Mm, I should definitely go back at this point because I apparently missed the X. Oh my god, now they scared me. And I might reach the void or something if I go further this way. And if it happens during the night, it won't be good. Maybe it's time to save. Definitely not be here. I should find the Delta Station and then go straight to the north. That way I can't miss it. The 
but I've definitely ventured too far here. the lily pads in that direction yeah I mean the beacons that I placed in the lily pads area and the omega base is somewhere there apparently I could I guess go there since I'm already so close sorry about me jumping from one objective to the another but I guess at this point it doesn't matter which base I'm gonna explore first it did at least I have some clues about this one I hope I won't run into a collisor I mean I I will run into a Calisserate, apparently. And... and... Let's mark this area. Warning, passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. I'm gonna place a beacon above it. Like this. further down Okay, since you've bitten me Come here, let's scan you Or I'm gonna die, perhaps. Warning, passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. This thing is too fast. I need a stasis rifle for... to scan it. But it bit me harder than the Shadow Leviathan, I think. Oh no, I don't have the reinforced dive suit, yeah. Alright, let's scan it. But let's take the suit. It was meant for such thing. Now it makes sense. Let's see if I have additional medical kits. Let's drink some water. Let's save. And let's dance with the Calisserate. Come here. It's like a shrimp. But it's a fish at the same time.
it doesn't have that Leviathan scale when it comes to its size but mission accomplished even though it cost me several of these medical kits and I don't yet have a fabricator so this maybe wasn't a wise decision okay let's see so it's a fauna An aggressive leviathan with an enormous beak. There is limited knowledge of this alien monstrosity at this time, and many on 4546B hope it stays that way. <laughs> Calisari. These large mandibles of the Calisarite are composed of bony material that crushes and saws through bones and muscles with ease. The mandibles open up. Uh, while the backward facing teeth dig into flesh and prevent easy escape, the prey is pulled towards the Calisarite's mouth and devoured. Exoskeleton. The Calisarite body is made of a thick, segmented exoskeleton. The exoskeleton grows flexible, overlapping plates, provides protection from atmospheric pressure while giving the Calisarite the maneuverability to easy pursue prey. Behaviors. The Calisarite is a predatory animal that patrols the warmer waters found near thermal beds. It can be seen feeding upon other predators and fish. As it attacks, the Calisarite emits a loud screech that disorients its prey. In smaller fish, it can temporarily stun them, which gives the Calisarite more time to attack. Void Calisarite. Okay, so these things guard the void. The Void Calisarite is a rare mutation of the Calisarite that prefers to roam in the dark, open waters at the edge of the sector. Avoid aggressive and potentially lethal. And I haven't read about the Shadow Leviathan, so let's do that now. This is a massive 60 meters plus Leviathan that appears to be the odd convergence of several evolutionary offshoots. Shovel like head, streamlined head of the shadow leviathan helps it slide through the water as it approaches its prey beneath its smooth skin its thick head plating that is used as a battering ram to ward off competing shadow leviathans during the mating season segmented legs the legs are covered in a thick segmented exoskeleton similar similar to arthropods these leviathan legs are used for propulsion, which is left to its blade-like tail and more for hunting prey. The thick legs fold open over captured fauna like a cage, while the strong exoskeleton protects the tissue beneath from damage, as leviathan feeds. By a luminous and digestive tract, the shadow leviathan's mouth leads directly to its digestive tract, which secretes a highly acidic compound onto captured prey. This bioluminescent cavity attracts light-seeking phytoplankton, which in turn draw, a lot in, draw in larger fish. Extreme threat avoid, avoid at all costs. So this is a void, and the, the shadow of it is a void at all costs, even though I find this thing dangerous, because it's open water, I guess, so I can't hide from it as easily. So the Calisaret is a bit down the food chain from the Shadow Leviathan apparently and it can be encountered sooner than the Shadow Leviathan so it makes sense. Now I have marked this spot so I can avoid it further unless when it comes to constructing a uh, observatory is this another one my god it is another one Two of them here. Right. How do I? Okay, 
so I need to level this thing before I leave it. I mean, before I leave the console in order to stay inside. And pick up a few stuff. Is it the same though? No, it is the same. I guess I've moved way too slow. So we're somewhere here among these deep lily pads is the Omega Research Lab. Let's see the map. I'm somewhere here, now I'm approaching this place from a different angle. Search lab is somewhere floating. But let's see how far this biome stretches. to trust the map it shouldn't be here what's down there This is the void. It has to be. Let's see how that looks like. Entering ecological dead zone. Adding report to data bank. No. There is no music. I mean, there is some kind of music.
Is it the void yet? No, this isn't the void yet. the edge of the map there are some resources maybe this is the void yeah this has to be the void yeah do I really want to be here warning entering ecological dead zone the prospect for survival is fast approaching zero cool now, do I really want to see those creatures? Hmm. I want to see those creatures. But they'll be a bit smarter. I'm gonna uh, detach the cabin to be as fast as possible. And then I'm gonna come back. Lots of titanium here to mine, and it's quite safe as well. Geological data. Actually, didn't add anything to the data bank oh no 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 Void, I'm really scared of because uh, it's disorienting. You can't find your way out of that place. All right, let's see. Come here, you fishies. Let's prepare the perimeter defense oh there are you there you are it doesn't bite this hard it's big it's much bigger and it okay so it's the same mechanic it just pulls back when I leave the void Can I scan it though? I can't do it without the stasis rifle. I couldn't, I could barely scan the ordinary chalicerate. Now, since I know that this is in fact the end of the map, uh, the Omega Lab has to be somewhere there. But I haven't found it. I don't know what caused damage to this module. Look at how many penglings I have. I'm gonna open a pangling store. One hundred dollars each. Credits. No credits, credits. This game is about credits. Now 
This is the fallen lily pad. Perhaps that's a clue regarding the Omega research site. What's here though? you can can see the most this is a mercury debris I've also marked it as a bow and a stern let's see what is Delta station Position area in distress call our Delta Station Dock. The Omega Lab has to be somewhere here. Another Kalesaret. No, 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 no. Let's prepare the beacon. can escape it, but you need to make sharper turns. Ok, 
Okay, this is my first successful evasive maneuver against this creature. Now, let's explore this Vanguard area a bit more. So, the Vanguard, I mean the primary, the big one. over there but what's down here lots of mining materials copper titanium okay some curious rock formation Do some manual searching. No, I I've been exactly here. How is it even possible? There are two of these, of these giant wind gardens and I picked the one that I've been here, that I've been nearby before. Here is the void again. Seek fluid and take. fish inside the aquarium. Vital signs stabilizing.
let's go this way. This one. It can't be here by accident. What is it that I... Oh, another Kalesirat. Is that the one that I've marked? No, that one is over there. So there are two of them, okay. Definitely. Now I wanna scout this area underneath. Underneath this. This went garden. I already have a thermal plant fragment, but this leads deeper. Your what is the booster tank? There's oxygen to give a speed boost. Hmm. Not the trade that I'm willing to make easy. Easily. Doesn't exactly lead back to my truck. How do I get out of here? I'm gonna drown again. for deep cave exploration.
I'm seeing a base. No. Yeah. And it is, I guess, the Omega is. Uh, no, this is. This is Margaret's base. Are you kidding me? Let's see if something has changed here. Still reading. You're still chewing that thing. There really is nothing different here. meters below sea level. Chunks of the sea base sank around me. One hand gripped the monster scales. The other was clamped around the shard of metal I'd lodged into her eye socket. A reaper. Wounded, maybe, but still deadly. I'd already taken out one eye. I damn near carved out the other. We were headed for the void at the crater's edge. Blinded, she was spiraling deeper. I had a choice. Hold on, or let go. I clung for dear life as she took us deeper. I had one minute of air in the tank. Back then, I could go another three with what I had in my lungs. So I had four minutes to kill the Reaper, minus a few to get back to the surface. It ain't that I like killing folk. It's just sometimes what you need is on the inside of someone else's rib cage. I killed that beautiful, terrifying creature, and I made for the surface. When I caught my breath, I realized we'd come further than I thought. I was surrounded by watery void. Just me, an ocean. Nothing else. Okay, another piece of her story regarding the Reaper. I completely missed this access from, to the cave.
You should perhaps mark. Seek fluid intake immediately. Vital signs stabilizing. Where are more of these beacons? Should perhaps mark this when guarded. Oh yeah, one is One is up there So this is the one that I was talking about making an observatory for. Okay, so I think I've got this. A bit sharper turns. And it does the job well. Okay, this still doesn't explain where the um, Omega Research Lab is. There is actually one thing that I haven't explored yet. Shadow Leviathan, I mean the Crystal Cave, but the access from the Margaret's from the Margaret's place. Maybe that one has something more. I mean I am somewhere here. This one is the access to Margaret's cave. Under the other one is the alien artifact, which I have scanned before. Fluid 
now I'm circling back yeah these are the purple bands they should be here on the map so the Omega lab I mean it has to be somewhere here Cave, perhaps the Omega Research Lab. Considering its location, it would make sense. Excuse me, let me Google this uh, just for a moment. No, it is the different thing. Located in the Lilliped Islands at a depth of 200 meters. And sand inside one of the large floating rocks. Okay. So, my initial guess was semi-correct. It is on the floating rocks. That is it, it is inside of them. And this cable actually provides an evidence. Seek fluid intake immediately. Now let's first figure out something about the fluids for example this and also come on there has to be another bladder fish around It apparently isn't inside of this rock, but there are more rocks around. Vital signs stabilizing. This rock maybe have some lower access point. No, maybe it's one of these. I have greater speed like this.
isn't large enough. And it said it's about 200 meters deep. Should be a good clue, so... Maybe here somewhere, but there are no floating rocks at that depth. Would like this and hate this, and there is the entrance. See fluid intake. All right, let's bring. It has to be there. Let's bring the truck here. I have found it. Google and I, we are masters of Subnautica. Vital signs stabilizing. Do I have more of these beacons? I've mapped out all the calicerates and now I don't have enough beacons to map what is important. Straightforward. Okay, something broke inside. But let's first mark this place. 
Omega Research Lab. Charge pins, antenna fruit. Okay, we'll bring some seeds with us. Bulkhead. Also that window. Vending machine. Doctor Daniel Valenti. Aroma therapy lamp. Picture. Okay, so. Sam and her knew each other. I challenged your spy pengling to a foot race earlier. Because you got tired of losing to me? Ouch. <laughs> what if I've been letting you win so I could see you smile? Cute. But I don't believe it. There are easier ways to make someone smile. Easier than losing a foot race. Oh, I think you're a woman with many talents. What are you implying? The artwork that appeared in my lab the other day. Oh, that. A study in Parhelion Red. I assume you had something to do with that. That depends. Do you like it? It's beautiful. Like the person who gave it to me. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were flirting with me. Do you know better? I don't know what I know anymore. Not when you're looking at me like that. Okay, they were in a relationship. Or they were starting a relationship. I'm gonna drown unless... Get my Warning. brown suit. Here. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Let's do this one more time properly. What else have, have I picked up? Altera. There is one more Altera. It's hard. Uh, uh, Danny's not here, I'm afraid. Uh, that's okay. It's you I wanted to see. What's that you're working on? Just a sketch for a piece I want to make. <sighs> I'm slacking off. Don't tell the boss lady. <laughs> I won't. It's beautiful. What is it? I'm doing a series inspired by bacteria. It says a mutant mode. beauty. Life, death, risk. You know, that kind of thing. What's this one? It looks like Harab, but Vin, is this a mutation? It's just an art project. You know you're doing that thing with your neck, like when you're trying to bluff an alien intruder. <sighs> All right, fine. Fine. I'm bad at lying. Are you mutating Harab bacterium from the frozen Leviathan here? In this lab? Please, don't ask me any more questions. I don't think I need to. Okay, so they were really researching Kara further. Investigation notes. Omega Lab was first breached by heavy impact. Perhaps from a sea track modified with some sort of battering implement. A localized explosive charge was then released and detonated from a distance. 
Lab equipment was damaged to the point of inoperability, and all live specimens were destroyed. No personnel was injured. Samples have been collected for analysis to determine whether any bacteria escaped. It is, however, unlikely. The heat of the charge should have boiled everything within a 10-meter radius. All right, someone, somebody purposefully drove the seed truck into this and detonated. Yeah, destroyed everything in the process. Well, let's see if it's actually everything. Everything except for this We've PDA. studied the first Kara bacteria samples from the specimen. Results are promising. We were able to stimulate rapid multiplication of cells in a controlled environment, resulting in the creation of several different mutations with potentially useful applications. Think of the possibilities. Life-saving treatments, genetic research. It could be a window to understand the evolution of life on this planet. The findings could move us forward by years. We recommend a wider study, using samples collected from a greater variety of sites around the original pustules. We trust you will provide the necessary security to do so. The Leviathan site must be protected. Profiles on these two. Oxygen. The key to total uninterrupted focus on what's important is the ability to unfocus on the unimportant, the ultimate goal of concentration is not to block out surrounding environments but to maintain total focus in spite of them they will be there they will be there you must not only be better than them but decoupled from them you heard of multitasking now get ready for monotasking so description blah 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 okay nothing here why am i freezing Oh yeah, I, I wasn't moving, so makes sense. So they destroyed a nuclear reactor, which was here as well. And the sea truck came through that ceiling or something like that. Now there's really nothing to be salvaged here. Not even a single flask, microscope, container nothing which is quite odd and I will do a one more look around these rooms Please write down in... Okay, there is something I can scan. Please write down in comments if I've missed something. But it, uh, this is the second time that I'm inside this room and it offered me something to scan in that direction.
Really nothing more. Can this be fixed? No. Okay, let's cut in the area around. Let's see another access. This cable should have been a clue. Always follow the cables in this game. this since I have some space left right okay so this is the first episode that I'm not, not gonna wrap wrap up side of the base. I'm actually gonna end it here and in the next episode I'll try and reach that and I'll of course google more about it. I'll try to reach the um, outpost zero. I'll see if there's any access to it from this place. Thank you all for watching. If you like this episode uh, hit that like button down and if you want to see more subscribe and I'll see you in my next episode